Hey guys, it's Winstreak. Today we have a question from BC Green 24 and they are looking to edit their sprite sizes. So without further ado, let's hop into a new project. Um, just going to throw some sprites down here and we'll do the first one and we're just going to draw the word 50 and then step one into editing sprite sizes. Uh, we have this lovely little resize button here. Alt R uh, will pull up the hotkey and it just drops down and asks you the width, the height, and aspect ratio. This is just going to keep the width and height connected to their original. So we can set 1 to 50 if it's unchecked and the other one says it's 250. Or we can check it and forces the height to stay at the same ratio. So each one is a 1 to 1 ratio at this point. So we can also do 250 and 50 and have it change. I know it looks ugly, you can't see, but um, if you re-select keep aspect ratio, now it's going to be on the new 1 to 5 ratio here. So if I change this one, the other one's going to drop with it as well, but they're no longer 1 to 1, they're on that 1 to 5. Um, so we're going to undo those, and we're just going to set that to 50-50, and if you notice, the box itself closed in on my 50, which was out here, and now we can't really see any of it. That's because we have the image to align center. So you can either set the image to align center, and that'll just change the box that holds the image. Uh, we have a line top left, and that'll just change the box around the image, but keeping the image in the top left. And then stretch is probably the one that most people want when they're hitting resize. So I just control Z, un undid everything. We're back to the original 250, 250. We're going to throw keep aspect ratio back on, and we're going to stretch and move this down to 50 and 50 and we'll see it shrink Boop. now it's nice and small uh, smooth is just going to be some built-in uh, like rendering tool that tries to keep everything nice and smooth I don't use it too much uh, but you can play around with it if you want to see the differences and then apply to whole animation that only matters if you have multiple images in your animation so you can make multiple animations up here and then uh, frames in each animation down here so I could copy and duplicate this right here and I could jump into this one and change the size to let's just say 20 and we don't have it on apply to whole animation so we'll see that only one of them shrinks and the other stays large so. but we're gonna do that and we're just gonna keep the 50 out here and as we see we have our sprite it's size 50 by 50 and we'll make a second one here. And let's just say 100. And we can, let's make this a little smaller so we can read it. 100, beautifully drawn. And you can see the 100 is twice the size of the 50. And then from here, we can continue editing. Uh, we can always jump in and grab the size off the side here and just change it. This one's going to be looking for that X. And we're going to switch this up a bit. And this no longer has to keep in mind any of the things you had checked here. This is going to overwrite everything. So it's not keeping aspect ratio if you type it in on the side there. It's just going to jump to that 120, 100. Um, and we can also edit sizes from inside of our event sheet. So we can take sprite 50 by 50, let's just say on start of layout, layout, sorry, uh, start of layout, and we'll take the 50 and we'll make it size of 100. So set size, and there's also set scale, and scale is just going to be a multiplier, so you can just set scale to 2 and it would double it, or you can just pick your exact size from set size and you can set your width and your height so 100 by 100 and we'll see that they're both about the same size again and that's all the main ways that you'll go about editing the size of your sprites hopefully that helps and have a good one